Hi, I'm Tom Myers, author of Anatomy Trains, and this is the first in a series of tips that we're going to be giving about fascial training. Training the muscles and the nerves, obviously very valuable, and less is known about training the fascia, but the research is coming in, and so now we know some of the things about training fascia, specifically. By which I mean your tendons, your ligaments, the fascial fabric of the body. It's not the same as training the muscles and the nerves. So, for instance, Training muscles might be great to use those machines and to keep coming in on the same vectors, but the fascial research says that fascial training is better if you vary the vectors. So the trouble with machines is they keep having you work on the same vector. That means you're training particular parts of the fascia and parts right next to it aren't being trained and are thus predisposed to injury. So rope systems, uh, throwing balls around, things where you vary the vectors of your loading are going to prepare your fascial system for life. Life doesn't always come at you at the same angle as a machine does. So I understand the value of the machines in rehabbing muscles, but you have to understand that the value of the machines is a lot less in training your fascia for life. Vary the vectors of your training.